To make paper mache paste, you're going to need some all-purpose flour, some PVA glue, I like the Elmer's School glue, and you can use clear or this type, some tap water, a dish, a fork, and some measuring cups. We're going to add one cup of room temperature tap water to that bowl. And then we're going to add half a cup of all-purpose flour. Now we're going to incorporate that flour really well into that water, making sure that there's no lumps of flour left. When it's all incorporated together, it should be like a runny pancake mixture. Now we're going to add half a cup of that PVA glue. And then we're going to incorporate that really well into the flour and water mixture. Paper mache glue is used for making things with paper. It helps stick pieces of paper together to create shapes like sculptures and masks or bowls. This glue makes the paper soft and sticky so you can shape it however you want. And when it dries, the paper becomes hard and strong and you can paint it or decorate it afterwards. I'm gonna make a paper mache bowl. I've got a whole bunch of packing paper that was left over from a Amazon package that I received. I've got a bowl from my kitchen. We're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and then we're going to start molding our paper with that paper mache glue around the shape of that bowl. You can use newspaper, packing paper, the only thing that I like to do and I recommend is ripping your paper so you don't have straight edges. You want to have ragged edges to your paper so it blends in better when your project's finished. And you're just going to overlap your paper with the paper mache glue until you have it completely covered. Once you have that first layer all around that whole bowl, then you can start working on another layer. And to make a bowl, I like to do five or six layers of this paper mache. And this is going to give you a really sturdy bowl. Once it's all done, we're gonna set it aside and let it dry completely. It, the drying time will be determined on your weather and your humidity. Usually it takes overnight. This is the next day. Everything is completely dry. We're going to remove that bowl from the bowl underneath and we've got a paper mache bowl that we can decorate. I'm going to trim around the top, add a little ribbon for embellishment, and we've made a cute little decor bowl from packing paper from an Amazon package. So that's how easy it is to make paper mache glue.